What's up guys, Not the Winner here, and I just wanted to quickly talk to you about the Altars of Lilith and why they're so important. Now, obviously, as you go through the game, you're going to be collecting Renown as you go through zones, which Renown is going to help you get ability points and potion slots. I'm at 8 out of 8 on potions on a level 1 character with 8 ability points instead of your initial, what is it, 1 or 0? I can't remember what you start with. So if we go ahead and like select our skills there... Um, Let's go ahead and increase the range of that one. For the Pulverize, we'll make them deal less damage. And then we'll go ahead and grab the Debilitating Roar so we get more armor as well. So at level 1, I'm already onto my third skill tree and on my way to the fourth. Kind of huge. Not only that, do we got the eight character slots. Now let's go ahead and look at stats. Now, as far as it goes, I have not gotten every altar of Lilith. There are, I believe, 33 in one zone that I need to collect, and 7 more in another zone I need to collect, for a total of 40 more altars. Across those 40 more altars, I'm going to get more and more stat points, and likely going to get each of these up to 80. But the initial stats on this character were about 9, maybe 7 in some cases, or all the way up to 10 if you were super lucky. So I'm getting about 50 additional stat points from these Altars of Lilith that I've found. That's huge. On a brand new character, to have an additional 50 stat points, literal 500% increase on your base stats, is going to be huge. You're going to be walking through enemies like they're nothing. Basically, until you hit like level 35, nothing should even be a consideration for a character with stats this high. So that that's kind of nice for just walking through the game. Not only that, if you've already completed the game on one character, you can actually skip the entire campaign and go straight to the end game. You start over in Kyobashad instead of, um, and you actually get a few of these teleports around the map, like Ked Bardu and shit, um, instead of starting in the icy area. So, kind of nice there. It's giving you one teleport in each of the major zones, or sometimes two teleports, depending how big the zone is, or if there happens to be the Tree of Whispers there. Um, very, very, very useful to make sure that you focus on your Renown. And you'll notice, like, my Renown on this character, he's at 25. These things are already unlocked for the all characters. He still gets his single character bonuses, where he gets the bonus experience and everything like that. So it's still useful to earn renown on each character, but you're not going to gain those party bonuses over and over and over again. So, like I was saying, if you want to start off with a huge bonus to your stats, and even some Paragon points, I would recommend going around to all Altars of Lilith, collecting those, and utilizing those bonuses, because you're going to be so much stronger on a brand new character that the game is literally going to be a joke for the early game, which helps you push through all the way to the point where you are starting to look, look at real builds. Uh, if this video is helpful to you guys at all, make sure you guys like and subscribe, and thank you guys so much for watching.